team, today is pretty cool because we're talking about a classic spaghetti and meatballs only. I've got, of course, a DC twist. I'm gonna showcase how we can use this guy. This is a spaghetti squash. Inside are strands of beautiful, like, spaghetti notes, except, obviously, it's a starchy situation, not actually spaghetti made from gluten, uh, wheat, in, in those situations. So, to accompany that, we also have some meatballs, and so today, I'm gonna teach you how to make sure that your meatballs stay super juicy. One simple thing, just to add that extra bit of juicy goodness. To get started, we've preheated our oven to 400 degrees, Fahrenheit's about 200 or so Celsius. And you just get your spaghetti squash. You're gonna slice it down in the middle. There's actually an art to this. This guy will always make it a little bit harder. So this top part to actually you know, penetrate right through. So start on one side like this. If you have a big long knife, it does help. So here's a chef hack. So insert just like this. Then use your leverage, go around like that using your weight, and then using the same angle, you've already penetrated, so you now just got the rest of your body weight down like this. Perfect. You're gonna get your spoon, and spoon out the insides. You can already see little bits of strands there. And what we're gonna do is using the heat and steam, we're gonna allow that to separate. Boom. See that? Nice and clear. You're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the top of these and in here too. You can actually, if you wish, crush some garlic and put it straight into this cavity and turn it upside down. I'm just gonna season with salt on the flesh, just like that, and then turn it upside down. So it's gonna cook, and by being sealed from the base, the steam is gonna stay inside. So it's gonna insulate it. Technically, it's gonna self-steam itself. That's pretty amazing. From there, let's get a fork and just penetrate. This will prevent our spaghetti squash from actually exploding. All right, now from there, straight in the oven. Spaghetti vegetable style is cooking away. So when it comes to our meatballs, that one tip I was telling you about all lies in this lovely measuring situation of a cup. This is stock, homemade, actual vegetable stock here at Charlie Street. But you can also use chicken stock, uh, you know, any stock really that you would like. The idea behind it is by adding a little bit of stock to your turkey, to your beef, whatever your meatballs are, it makes sure that when they cook through, they're insulated with that beautiful juicy goodness. To get that going, just gonna chuck our turkey into our mixing bowl. Turkey's much leaner when it comes to any form of your you know, poultry, your proteins. So using that today is a great way to make sure you're getting that lean muscle activity. From there, we're also gonna add an egg. When it comes to your perfect juicy meatballs, all you need is an egg, obviously the meat itself, and that stock. But outside of that, it's completely up to you. I love adding things like fennel seeds and basil, some oregano. Uh, today I'm using a little more of a left curve. I'm just using turmeric and cumin, salt and pepper. But whatever flavor profile you kind of want to add is up to you. So in goes some turmeric, now cumin, Himalayan sea salt, black pepper. There you go, and uh, let's be real, it's gonna be a little bit funny. Just gonna get my hand in that egg, get all about everything mixed in, and then add a little bit of that stock, just a little bit, perfect. Baking tray, choose all that with olive oil. Boom, get that in here. And then, here's the fun and games. Grab a meatball, and I'm not gonna be rolling it too much, I wanna kind of, yeah, look at that. An ugly meatball makes the best kind of meatball. Whoa, this guy is gonna be a pancake. You notice that these parts here are a bit more pronounced. They're gonna be a little bit darker because they're closer to the heat, gonna get cooked first. So by the time the center comes around to being cooked, the outside will be a little bit charred. That's bonus points. Look at these legends. Happy and sunshine, all in a row. So they have that is really simple. You can put that in the fridge, as I said, the night before, if you're you know, thinking ahead of time, or you can put them straight in the oven. So they're gonna partner well with our spaghetti squash. They're gonna cook just alongside it. Whilst that's happening, you can create your little sauce. Now, if you haven't already seen my almond pesto that we made with our quinoa pasta, you probably see a little image of that happening right here. Make sure you head on over and check it out. The link is just in the comment section down below. All right, team, it's been 40, 45 minutes. Time to check on our spaghetti squash. Ooh, nice and hot. Yep. A good way to check is by just touching the surface. Nice bit of resistance. This is the fun part. Turn it upside down. Yes, yeah, steam. Welcome to the party. Woo, it's really hot. Get a couple of forks, team. 
and then just start to slowly peel away. And you'll notice automatically you get the beautiful shape and strands of spaghetti. Hence the name, Spaghetti Squash. Fun times! So grab a portion of your lovely squash, spaghetti strands and all, and then just kind of lay it out. Talk about using the oven to our advantage. Yeah, let's get these bad boys. Oh, geez, that's hot. And then my favorite sauce, it's gotta be my almond pesto that you guys have seen. You can see it right here. Make sure you hit the link down below. It's gonna be in there as well. Grab some of our almond pesto and just kind of layer it on top. A bit of olio. Boom, 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 yeah. And then just flick it with a bit of pepper, backside stuff. Boom, oh, I missed it. Let's go again. So team, this is clearly a weeknight win because time on the tools, pretty much minimal. After putting some meatballs onto a roasting tray and slicing a spaghetti squash in half and putting it in the oven, let it do its thing for 45 minutes, you're done. The pesto can be done in that time too. So ultimately you're looking at about 10 minutes of you actually cooking and then you've got some beautiful goodness ready and waiting. Super clean, super healthy, super colorful. If you like it, let me know, give it a thumbs up. Of course, share it with a friend who is definitely gonna like a spaghetti and meatball situation with a twist. And of course, please hit subscribe if you wanna make sure you see anything like this every single week because I'm Dan Chocho and I'm all about healthy cooking and making it easy for you guys to replicate at home. Check you soon, my legends. Bye.